this week on our exploration of Asian mythology, we delve into the mystical realm where lesser known yet profoundly significant creatures reside. These beings not only captivate the imagination but also reflect the deep spiritual beliefs and cultural values intricately woven into the tapestries of their originating lands. Hello and welcome to the Cryptic Conclave. Join me as we uncover the myths and the reasons these entities hold a special place in today's cultural landscape. In the heart of Chinese New Year folklore, the fierce beast known as Nian devours crops and livestock but recoils from the vibrancy of red and the clamor of loud noises. This creature symbolizes the overcoming of old fears and challenges as communities unite in celebration and protection. As we venture into the lush forests and rugged mountains of Japan, the Tengu reveal themselves. Revered as formidable protectors of the natural world, these mythological spirits, part human and part bird, embody the sacred solitude of forested sanctuaries. In the cold, whispering winds of Japanese winters, we find Yuki Onna, the ghostly snow woman. Beautiful yet terrifying, she embodies the perilous allure of nature's frosty embrace. Wandering across the diverse landscapes of Buddhist Asia are the praetor, or hungry ghosts. Afflicted by insatiable hunger and thirst, these spirits serve as poignant reminders of the consequences of our earthly desires and misdeeds. Lurking in the shadowy corners of Hindu mythology, Rakshasa represent the darker forces that challenge moral order and virtue. These malevolent spirits, capable of shape-shifting, often appear fierce and monstrous. Then we encounter Makara, the mythical sea creature that bridges the aquatic and terrestrial realms in Hindu and Buddhist mythology. Often depicted as part crocodile and part fish, Makara symbolizes the fluidity and mystery of the cosmic waters. From the mystical island of Bali, the demon queen known as Rongdo emerges. With her fearsome demeanor and mastery of dark magic, she embodies the chaotic forces that heroes must confront and overcome. Celestial musicians known as Kinara and Kinari, from Southeast Asian mythology grace our journey next. Depicted with human torsos and bird-like lower halves, these figures symbolize the eternal dance of love and celestial beauty, resonating through the ages. In the folklore of the Sawa ethnic group in Cameroon, we find jangle, mermaid-like water spirits that embody the beauty and capricious nature of water, essential yet unpredictable. Soaring through the heavens of Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain mythology is Garuda, the mighty bird-like creature that stands as the mount of Lord Vishnu. This figure represents the spread of virtue and the courage to combat evil. Known in Chinese folklore as hopping vampires, Jiangxi move with outstretched arms, embodying the fears of death and the undead that pervade human consciousness. In Chinese mythology, a fantastical creature called Bai Zi possesses knowledge of all supernatural beings, serving as a beacon of wisdom and a guide through the mystical realms. As the rains fall, the Mogwai breed. These Chinese demons, vulnerable to sunlight, remind us of the shadows that lurk behind nature's life-giving forces. Crossing into the afterlife, souls encounter Datsuba. This old woman from Japanese folklore embodies the stripping away of earthly trappings as souls prepare for their final judgments. Asura, originally from Hindu mythology and now also prominent in Buddhist lore, are powerful demigod-like beings that embody the complexities of moral ambiguity and the darker aspects of the human psyche. From the sacred text to the temples, the Naga serpentine deities weave through Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain mythologies. Often associated with protective qualities, they represent the life-giving properties of water. In the deceptive tranquility of Japanese landscapes, Jorogumo spins her web. A spider that can transform into a seductive woman, she captures the dangerous allure of beauty intertwined with deceit. Lastly, from the ancient sands of Mesopotamia, the Lamashu rises. This protective deity, with the head of a human, the body of a bull or lion, and the wings of an eagle, stands as a guardian against chaos, watching over ancient thresholds. Through these narratives, the creatures of Asian mythology not only tell stories of their own mystical origins but also reflect the universal themes of human experience, fear, desire, beauty, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. Join us next week as we begin to unravel the mysteries of North American cryptids. Let us know in the comments which topics you would like to see. Thanks for watching the Cryptic Conclave. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.